Newly released video shows the dramatic crosstown chase between APD and a wanted man in an RV. That man left a trail of damage with the chaos finally coming to an end on the west side when the RV crashed into another car, killing an innocent driver. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is here with the video. Yeah, well, Jessica, from the North Valley to Uptown, Downtown, Old Town, the fairgrounds, and then out to Coors. Police say David Barber was the man behind the wheel of the RV taking police on this massive chase. In mid-June, Albuquerque police closed in to arrest David Barber at a North Valley RV park on Warrants. Suspect, step out with your hands up and empty. But the suspected thief won't give himself up. He's going back inside. He's closing the door. Moments later. Stop right there! Please, please don't go! The RV takes off. What follows can only be described as chaotic. Barber leads police all over town, first heading toward uptown, where he tries to go into the Target parking lot. Then reverses, nearly running over this officer. Watch that same moment from the officer's lapel camera. Oh, the chase continues. The RV goes through ART construction downtown into Old Town. Barber cuts under I-40 at Rio Grande and eventually takes officers back to the uptown area, cutting through neighborhoods clear right, clear right. before reaching the fairgrounds, all the while causing crashes along the way, at one point nearly taking out a motorcyclist. Oh, oh. That same officer who almost got run over at Target is in the lead pursuing unit until it hits a spike strip, apparently laid out by Bernalillo County deputies. Who the f was that? SO. Other units keep chasing until finally police documents say there was a successful pit maneuver seen here as a police SUV nudges the RV on cores near Irving. But when the RV spins out into oncoming traffic, it crashes into another car. Then Barber takes off running. Officers find him trying to steal a Jeep at a dealership. Finally, in custody, but Barbara left a wake of destruction throughout the city, ultimately claiming Tito Pacheco's life. Pacheco, a father of three, was in the car the RV hit right after the pit maneuver. Now, during the chase, an officer was also involved in a crash with an innocent bystander. Both the citizen and that officer were okay, though. Jessica, back to you. All right, thank you, Madeline. Barber is still in custody at MDC, being held without bond on other unrelated cases. He has yet to be charged for this case, for the chase, or Pacheco's death.